Hey, Gemini people. So this week we're doing you and M's. Okay. So we're just going to jump right into it and see what's going on with you and your person. God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for Gemini and your person. What's the message for the Gemini people and their person? Somebody could be running from something. Okay. So what do we got for the Gemini people on this side? Spirit, what's the Gemini energy? Energy for the Gemini people. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Swords, and the Heart of Fire. I'm hearing a test of faith. Somebody might be having a test of faith here. They're mentally conflicted about a destiny and something that they're possibly being told to do on their intuition. I feel like it's something regarding their happiness, but I feel like since they said they can't see the clarity that they need, they're, they're struggling. Okay, so let's see what we got for the Gemini people spirit. On the Gemini side. The Nine of Wands, that's some guardedness to the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's guarded to a uh, opportunity, a good opportunity that's being offered to them because they, they're not trusting it. The death card reverse. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. And then the three cups. So even though they're guarded to it, they don't want it to end at the same token. I feel like they know it's an offer that they really do want, but they're just a little bit uh, maybe healing or something at this time. I feel like they made a decision to retreat from something that was confusion or an illusion. Okay, so that's for the Gemini people. So let's see what the Gemini person is on this side, Spirit. What's the message for Gemini's person? What's the energy for Gemini's person? Light it up is what I heard. <laughs> Your person could be a stoner. Could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius. But your person is... I feel like they're happy about their destiny. Excuse me. It's like they got some underlying truth about... Excuse me. Some type of shift or transformation taking place. So let's see. What we got for Gemini's person? The Seven of Cups. The two materials. The King of Wands. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign. I got the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Empress in reverse. I feel like somebody wants the balance, but they're confused as to what's going on with it. Even though they got the clarity. So they're divesting. I feel like they're taking their energy back. Okay. So why is the nine of wands here for the Gemini people? What's going on with this wounded warrior energy? Two of swords, the nine of wands, and the eight of wands reverse. So somebody could be blocked, but the eight of wands reverse could also be the seven, which means extra defense. I feel like somebody's experiencing some type of shakeup in a foundation. Where they're going to calm water, so they are the wounded warrior right now. Why is the blockage spirit? Justice. For them to see, see, somebody don't see clearly with this moon energy and they need the truth. They need the facts, the clarity. When it comes to a love situation that they're too guarded to. Somebody's moving in and out on the situation that they're destined to be in. And that makes them happy. But their intuition is telling them that they should move forward. They'd be victorious. 
cut out the ego. Bring in the emotion. If they want to be victorious. If they don't want to see this end. So eight of cups. They walk away from what it is and emotionally serve them. And emotionally what don't serve them is leaving this empress out in the cold. Why? Because now they got the facts. So they're making choices, movements, and decisions to secretly heal, become single, take care of the heartbreak, heal from a painful ending that they experience so that they can show up as an emperor because they know they want to fix the situation. They want to reconcile it. They're holding back right now, but they're going through some type of transformation of willpower. The Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles. I feel like you are somebody. They're going to be having a solid offer, but right now they're going through something. Now we got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands on this side too. They're going through something emotionally, so right now I feel like they they're trying to stabilize their emotions, so they're not really ready for a solid commitment. They're still dealing with some type of shakeup that happened in the foundation. Okay, that could be you, Gemini, or your person, okay? Something about the seven of cups on your person's side. But see, I don't feel like whoever, the, on the Gemini side, that person is going through all that stuff. They're not sharing it with the other person. And that's putting them in a chaotic experience because they don't know what's going on. They're confused. They're trapped in their mind. And instead of dealing with chaos, trapped in their mind and confusion, they decided that they're better off on their own. Now they're guarded. Because I feel like they've experienced some type of awakening already, and this just ain't for them. So that's where then that's where you get nervous because now this person starts to divest, and you're like, "Wait a minute, I'm fixing myself for this." Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like your person once at one point was trying to find balance, trying to be strong. The King of Cups, but they that this is. It's hurt. It's very hurtful to their emotions. So they're restricting themselves from it because it's disappointing. It's disappointing and they don't want it. They're better off on their own than that. That's how they see it. Why is this Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Six of Swords reversed for the person? Maybe they feel like you're married or you're in a, some type of investment that you need to walk away from. Or you need to heal from something that is already over. This person is standing in their power and they want you to stand in your power with them. They're not going to accept anything less. That's what they're letting you know. They want you can move towards them and match Queen of Wands, King of Wands style if you want to be in this twin flame. But as far as deceiving themselves and standing in their power, they ain't going to be able to do it for you. They'll let this shit go first. That's what they're letting you know. This person is standing on themselves over here. Because they see things clearly. With the Page of Swords to the Justice card. They see things clearly. Queen of Swords. This could be a, a, a Gemini energy. We'll see things clearly when it comes to a, a, a King of Pentacles. Okay. Or a King of Wands. Maybe even a King of Cups. Yeah, one of the Kings. So tell me about this. Yeah, you willing to this you willing to turn your back on this? So the King of Wands is going to have the King of Wands and boss up and take a leadership. He's going to have to take a leader role. Over balancing out this whole connection and putting some work in if he wants if he wants to make some if he wants to see some changes or he wants to be an equal he's gonna have to make choices movements and decisions to put the balance in to work on the balance if he wants it he's gonna have to show you that he needs it he's gonna have to show up healed and free from past traumas and following his intuition to ready to be happy because anything else you ain't gonna accept it. so for as of now it's a divesting come about this empress in the reverse The Queen of Cups. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Five of Voices. And the Nine of Cups. Because she's feeling betrayed by what's supposed to be wish fulfillment. Could be a Pisces. It could be a Scorpio. But a motherfucker's not stepping in anything less than a solid commitment. So somebody's moved to protect their energy at this time. Five of Swords. Somebody's taking their love away. And I'm hearing that song. Don't take your love away. Baby, don't take your love away from me. I need you, girl. See, somebody, that's why I said she just, she took, she stopped divesting. She stopped investing. She stopped planting seeds. She stopped giving love. She's healing herself. She let it go for a pinnacle's reverse because it's not making her happy. 
And I feel like the retreat will bring the tower in for the other person. Yeah, this is the lesson that teaches them that they don't have to leap or it's going to have to be over. At least you, even if you're not ready, you can let a motherfucker know something. You don't leave them hanging in the dark like that. Because they're going to figure it out for themselves and walk away. Shit, they're going to make the choice a little easier for you and get the fuck up out of there. Skedaddle. So we'll see about you and all signs. person is like soul food for you and i don't mean like a meal i mean like soul for your soul food for your soul and this is why you feel like you need them because they make you better but you don't necessarily need them but you know what the, that's what the song say 11 11 and somebody's about to miss out on the 11 11 i seen 11 12 okay so let's just see i mean because i really seen 11 12 not 11 11 but 11 11 just passed somebody feel like they're gonna miss out on the 20 well, they better learn to take a leap. So what we got for the Gemini? We're dealing with all people from Capricorn and Sagittarius spirit. Please give us some clear and concise messages from Capricorn and Sagittarius for the Gemini people. Right. So let's see here. Gemini is dealing with a Capricorn. Ten of Swords, the Star, and Three of Swords. Say somebody's healing from a painful ending here between the Capricorn and the Gemini. And it's like they don't know what to do, but the intuition is telling them. Yeah, it, it, their intuition is. Somebody's being led to a new opportunity if they just got single from their ex. And they're just not so sure about that. But Justice is here saying that you're. This could be for the Capricorn. Yep, somebody's on some bullshit. Capricorn energy. I feel like the Capricorn playing a little bit. I'm sorry. But the thing is, the Capricorn... I don't know if it's the king and the queen of pentacles here. So I don't know if the Capricorn is a woman or a man. But somebody's staying single on purpose. Even though their intuition is leading them to a solid beginning. Why? Because they want to keep entertaining the past because of history that they got. But they're going to receive messages that um, the king of pentacles or the queen has made a decision to move forward. But they're secretly doing it because they know some type of truth. And they're putting the burdens down, being strong, being courageous to get in their truth. This king of pentacles could be heading your way, Gemini woman. He's been trapped in his mind about this love, but he got the facts now. He feel like you the empress and he don't want to miss out on you. So this, this queen of pentacles is staying single so she can entertain the king of pentacles. But she about to soon find out that he's obsessed with his wish fulfillment. Yep, the devil energy. He wants to find balance, healing, and emotional fulfillment in his destiny. So I feel like that's for a Gemini woman dealing with a King of Pentacles man, or it could be the Gemini man that's breaking up to go get to the King of Queen of Pentacles woman. Take it how it resonates, okay? So let's see, Gemini dealing with an Aquarius. Mm. The Emperor, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's freeing themselves from the past because it's not emotionally served in no damn way between an Aquarius and a Gemini. Yep, they're walking away. Right now they're experiencing the painful and they're still healing from it, still in this guarded energy, but they might not be expressing it. 
Somebody's got a, uh, anxiety about this brand new solid offer with a possible uh, person with water in their chart. They got anxiety because they can't take charge of a situation right now because they're still healing. They, they're anxiety. They know what their intuition wants them to do now. The emperor is taking the leap towards the queen of swords. I don't know if the queen is... Oh, the emperor could be a Gemini and the... Uh, the Empress could be a the, uh, air, air Aquarius. Take it how it is, okay? So we got Gemini dealing with the Pisces. The King of Pentacles. The Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. The feminine energy stands in her power. I feel like the masculine energy was invested in something, which is why he made a decision to leave you out in the cold, which made you feel deceived because he chose a long-term situation to possibly a marriage. Yep, the Queen of Pentacles is coming out now. That's who he decided to move on from, but it's funny because it's t he's taking charge to walk away from that same motherfucker and come back your way to apologize. Yep, putting the burdens down as a husband. Mm -hmm. You're going to be receiving communication for him telling you that he's been through a painful ending and he's healing, but he does want to move your way. The Gemini might say this. Ooh. Yep. They feel like the truth is the pair is you. He pretty belong with a pair with you, uh, in a pair with you. The Gemini feels this way about the Pisces. Or the Pisces feels this way about the Gemini. Take it how it go. Okay. All right, Gemini dealing with the Aries. The Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody knows exactly what they want here. Between the Gemini and the Aries. It could be the Aries. I feel like somebody's not interested in commitment. Even though that's what their intuition is leading them to do. They feel like they're better off on their own. And this is the perspective that they have. But it's an illusion. Somebody's walking away from the Ace of Pentacles. They're going to later regret that. Once they get the truth. They're going to regret it. But I feel like the person's going to be moved on. Because I feel like the Aries don't want to be settling down. He want to play. He want to run around. Or this is the Gemini. But somebody don't want to settle down. They want to play. They want to run around thinking motherfuckers going to be there forever. And they won't. Okay. So, Gemini dealing with the Taurus. Three of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. In the six of swords. Somebody's moving away from a foundation, a, un a relationship, or. Somebody got a son on the way. And this is why you're moving away from the ass, because you're not interested. You're not interested in the bus, lies, cheating, bullshitting, deceitful ways. Gemini masculine. What's going on here? I feel like the Gemini masculine is walking away from some type of confusion and anxiety and, and, and ego. And he's walking towards the truth. His pair, somebody he sees his wish fulfillment and a solid opportunity. So, but what's up with all this? I feel like there's a lot of bullshit going on here. Somebody. Somebody have a son with somebody. Now somebody's leaving a relationship or a hurtful situation or a broken cycle. Shit, yeah, hell. Okay, Jim and I did Lord of Cancer. So somebody's offering their love because they feel like they're dealing with the Empress. 
It's like they they ready to go in the union. They've been through a transformation, and they're ready. They're ready to give love. They matured emotionally. So they're making a decision to follow their intuition to the commitment. They want a future. And they're hoping you're single so that y'all can get on the same page. Mm. Somebody took charge of their ego so that they can have so they can take part in this. The confusion is going out the window and this and the and the clarity, the sureness is coming in. Somebody woke up and smelled the coffee is what they said. So Gemini dealing with a Leo. I'm getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises. Looking through your face, seeing different numbers and numbers. Uh oh. No, I mm, 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 say it again, say it again. Oh. Look at what you've done. Somebody that hurt the fuck out of somebody. Somebody put a major investment in love in somebody. But it was a lesson to teach them about a twin flame. Somebody is unappreciative, ungrateful of the twin flame. They didn't want to be bothered with it because they was too busy focusing on the past. But what they didn't see was that the past was about to hurt the fuck out their ass and send them right back to calmer waters like they're going now. And yep, now they're going to try to have a small opportunity to offer their love to somebody after this tired moment didn't happen. After they find the balance, then they'll be the emperor, ready to take charge, ready to do what they had to do. But they invested in the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. They invested in the past and the past play the fuck out their ass. That's what happened. But that's what they should have did. What they should have did was stood in the truth and follow their intuition like their intuition told them. Ooh. That was Leo, right? Leo, yep. Um, I'm pretty sure that was Leo. Regardless, there's unconditional love in a situation, and now somebody's ready to manifest the commitment. They got deep love, okay? I feel like that was Leo. Okay, Gemini dealing with a Virgo. Somebody's in the code emotionally, and they want to retreat from there. They putting down the burdens of mental conflict and just following their heart. They're sad out in the cold from a twin flame or a love situation. I feel like the person retreated because it was too stagnated and they, no, they just wasn't having it. They wanted something solid. They was here for a long time, not a good time. Okay. And I feel like it was somebody that felt some type of way about you, Gemini, and they feel like emotionally you left them out in the cold, so they, they had to move on, but they didn't want to. Or this is what the Virgo felt about the Gemini. Okay. Gemini dealing with a Libra. Something's in lingo. Somebody love you too much to not have anything more, you know, to... Somebody's walking away manifesting an ending. An ending to a destiny. Because it's too much under the surface. They're manifesting justice because of a stagnation, because of an illusion. See, somebody got too much love to be less held, held on standby like that. Somebody didn't take charge of the nurturing because of their ego. And it was something solid, too. But somebody wanted to be a player. And now they got anxiety about that toxic ass behavior. Wanting to apologize, put the work into love. There's a lot of apologetic energy going on here for y'all. Okay. Gemini dealing with a Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Somebody's defensive. 
a person's coming in here offering a small offer, a, a small solid offer, saying that it it's gonna lead to the sun. Cause somebody's saying I learned my lesson and I'm here to reconciliate. The burdens are down. You ain't gotta worry about me. The perspective says, I mean, um, the sun is clarified by this person because he got a new perspective on how they hurt you because they was trapped in their own mind about investing and they're trying to return to fix it because they broke it with their ego is what they feel like. Can we talk for a minute? I feel like somebody in the past is still trying to hold on to this person's finances, but they don't want that. They want you. They won't wish her feeling, and that's what they huh? They want nothing but the twin flame, so she's going to have to go on somewhere, whoever she is. Again, they learned their lesson. That's what that's all about. I don't know if that's the, uh, the Scorpio. The Scorpio is here, but I don't see the Gemini. I didn't hit rock bottom over you. Oh, man. Damn, somebody's all sad and shit. Feeling like they hit rock bottom over the next motherfucker. Okay. Sagittarius is the last one. Gemini dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't know, y'all. Let me back up real quick. I said I got to do Scorpio again. Gemini dealing with a Scorpio. Just in case. I don't want it to be no mix-up. I don't know why I'm in this reading tripping like this. Yep, there's the lesson. Somebody got anxiety because they didn't follow their intuition and ended up in an illusion. It could have been uh, the, the Scorpio was a man, but I feel like in some cases it was a woman. Yeah, now somebody's learned that lesson. They're ready to come on through. But the Scorpio woman is hurt and got her back turned. She don't know if she can trust you. So she's holding back. She know the truth, but she's stagnated because her feelings is hurt. Give her a second. Let her take her time. She'll come on through. Okay. I think in some cases she might. In some cases she won't. It depends on how much water is under the bridge. And it's her choice is what they said. Okay. Jim and I dealing with a Sag. My bad, y'all. I had to make sure because I was, you know, I felt like I skipped it, and I'm pretty sure I didn't, but that was just probably a part of the energy. Uh, Sagittarius dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could have got pushed back because of uh, some type of structure, foundation factor, religious factor, relationship, marriage, um, tradition. Yeah, I feel like somebody was very traditional. But I feel like they still lack some knowledge. Mm hmm They feel like it was the emperor. Could have been the Sagittarius. He's sitting here, king of wands, masculine. He couldn't see clearly that something was toxic. That religion or whatever that foundation structure was would just kept him guarded in and out on his destiny. When his intuition told him what to do, he was mentally conflicted because of his Ten of Pentacles. But he regressed that. Oh, yeah, he regressed that Five of Cups. And he wants to be emotionally more mature and offer you love. He wants to change this whole thing around. Or she. Okay. So that was Gemini dealing with a Sagittarius. So that's what I got for you, Gemini people. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in your next video. Be blessed.